Hey guys, Mr. Jams here, and welcome back to another Opera GX modding tutorial. Today, you are going to attend Mr. Jams Mod School in preparation for the first official Opera GX Browser Mod Jam. On the Game Maker website, they have an announcement about the schedule for the Mod Jam. The theme is going to be revealed on May 10th, submissions open May 23rd, submissions close May 26th, and the winners will be judged by June 9th. If you click the Rules and Guidelines link, it'll take you to Opera's Game Jam announcement page. Here, you'll find a countdown timer and details on the prize pools for category winners. Each first place winner gets $5,000, and the second through fifth gets $1,500 each, as well as an audience vote for their favorite mod. As I said before, you can see the timeline here and some more explanation on the mod categories. There's going to be a shader category, a sound category, a graphics category, and a live wallpaper category. Below that, you will find an invite to the Mod Jams Discord server, as well as rules and guidelines for the contest. Make sure to read these rules, because if you don't, you could get disqualified very easily. The links to both of these websites will be in the description so you can check them out on your own. So what exactly are Opera GX mods? Well, they let you modify the colors, the sounds, themes, the music, the CSS, and more for your browser experience. To start making your own mods, head to Opera GX's mod GitHub and click the green code button to download the zip. Go ahead and extract the zip to access the folder contents. I use a program called pzip that is free to do this. Head into the extracted folder and then enter the documentation folder. Here, we can use Control c to copy the mod template folder. You can then use Control v to paste the folder where you want it. Now we can open up the folder and get to work on our mod. This manifest file contains all of our mod's details and specifications. The other folders here contain the media content our app will use, and we're going to edit our JSON using Notepad++, but you can use your favorite editor. We will start with naming our mod and giving it a description. After that, you can go ahead and add your name to the developer portion. Be sure to use Control and S to save frequently so you don't lose any progress. Next, we are going to pick the icon for our mod. You're going to need a PNG or JPEG file that is 512 by 512 pixels in dimension. Simply add the file to your mod folder and delete the default icon. Now, you can head back to your manifest JSON file and change your icon name. Remember to save, and then we're going to go ahead and preview our mod. In the top right of your browser, you'll find a little cube icon that takes you to your extensions page. Head here, and then in the top right, you're going to enable the developer mode button, and you'll find some new buttons on your left. The important one right now is load unpacked. Click this, and we can go to select our mod folder to preview it. Navigate to the inside of your mod folder, and then click Select Folder. If you have any errors, a warning message should pop up telling you to fix it. You can open a new tab and preview the background and theme from the template. Make sure you have any installed mods disabled, and then open a new page. Head to the Settings button in the top right. Go ahead and click Configuration, and then Advanced Configuration, and here you can access Opera's custom theme sliders. You can adjust the HSL values to preview what your dark and light values will look like for your mod. Go ahead and pick some colors. Once you are happy with your colors, head over to your manifest file and scroll down to the theme section. Go ahead and copy over the HSL values that you picked and save your file. Head back to your extensions page and enable the mod again. Now you can click update and your browser will update to reflect your mod's changes. Let's pick some wallpapers to swap for the default ones. You can use separate images or the same for both themes, and you can also use videos as an animated wallpaper if it's in the WebM format. Head to the wallpaper folder and place the images you want to use. If you're using an animated wallpaper, then you need to include a separate image that will be the first frame of your video. This file needs to be a JPEG image. Head to your manifest and find the wallpaper section. Enter the names of your images and make sure that you don't have any spaces in your image names. If you want a static background image, use the format from the dark section, 
and if you wanted animated wallpaper, then use the format from the light section. Save your file and update your mod on the extensions page again. It looks like I made a mistake, so I'm going to fix it and I'll be right back. My issue is that the background file needs to be a PNG, so I double clicked it to rename it and then I deleted the JPEG extension. If you aren't able to see the extensions of your files, go into your file explorer options, click view, and then disable the hide extensions for known file types toggle. Here I corrected my code and then updated my mod to display the wallpaper correctly. Another detail you can change is the text color and shadows used on the wallpaper page. These use hexadecimal colors, which you can obtain by googling hexadecimal color picker and then copying the hex code. The next few steps are going to be repetitive. Replace any of the keyboard sounds you would like with WAV or MP3 files and then update the names in the manifest. You can do the same for the background music but it is important to know that you cannot have multiple tracks that will play in order. Opera dynamically changes the music based on what you do while you browse, so if you just want your background music and no extra sounds, then you need to combine your mp3 files into one that has the tracks in a sequential order. The same rules for the keyboard apply to the browser sounds. Anything you want to update put it into the folder, and then adjust it in the manifest. The template includes two shaders that you can play around with and try to learn the basics. These are the matrix and the wave shades. You can open them to view the code and you'll notice a link here that'll take you to a website called Shader Toy. Here you can play around with the examples to modify them or look for other people's shaders. The process of creating your own shaders can be very complex. So if you wanna make your own, I would recommend checking out someone like Chris Courses on YouTube to understand the fundamentals. I'll leave a link to his video down below. If you like this video and want to see more like it, I would greatly appreciate you guys' help. There is a link to a service called Buy Me A Coffee on my page where you guys can help support me and help me raise the funds for a better microphone. Anything is greatly appreciated now let's get back to modding. We are going to use an example to web mod Discord. Head to the mods page on Opera's GitHub and find Cyberdeck. You will then click on the CSS folder and download the following two files. Click the download raw file button on both pages and head back to your mod folder when you're done. Drag the CSS files into your mod folder and then into the web modding folder that you're using. Before we edit the CSS files, we need to go ahead and add them to our manifest. Copy the section that I have highlighted, put a comma behind the bracket here, and then paste the section on a new line after the comma. Type the names of the two CSS files we just added with a comma between them under the new CSS section. Then you can change Opera to Discord under the new matches section. I went to update the mod to test our changes, and then I realized I forgot a quotation mark. So I fixed it and updated it again. Now you can see that we have the Cyberdeck Discord background and adjusted theme colors. Open up the two CSS files using your editor. Now this is probably going to look overwhelming, but there are instructions for everything on this page. If you want to make more advanced edits to your Discord, then check out all the options in this file. Right now we are going to focus on the background variable, which is assigned in the second file. The background is assigned using a URL, so hit enter to isolate this line, quickly click three times, and then backspace to delete the line. Now type URL, a set of parentheses, and then a semicolon to finish this line. Any image link you want to use needs to be put in the parentheses. I found mine by browsing Imgur and taking the link of an image that I opened in a new tab. Once you save your file, you can update your mod and open Discord again to see the changes. Feel free to play with the settings in the change colors file to customize your Discord. 
The last thing we need to do before uploading our mod is fill out the license. Opera gave us a template license here that we can fill out with our own details. There's a description section, credits, kudos, licenses, and other stuff. Fill this out however you desire. If you want to share your mod privately, then you can pack the extension. Browse into the folder with your mod's content and then select it. You can now pack the file and it will generate an extension file that you can share and a key file that you can use to update the extension. In order to publicly publish your mod, you need to head to create.gx.games and either sign in or create an account. Once you are logged in, make sure you create a studio under the Studios tab, and then you can click Upload New Mod on the Mods tab. Before you choose a file, navigate to your mod folder and open it. Highlight the contents of your folder and add them to a zip file. PZip is a free software you can use if you don't have another way to add them to a zip file. Once you are done, you can click Choose File and then select the zip file that you made. Pick your studio and you can upload your mod. Opera will take a few moments to scan your files and inform you if there are any errors. If there are none, then you'll be brought here to your mod's new page. You can change various details like the title, the icon, or the description. And if you click media, you can upload images and videos for your mod. In order to publicly post it, you need to upload cover art. You also need to set an age rating before posting. And under metadata, you can add a long description and tags to your mod. Once you finish that, click Promote to Public and you will have a finished product that people can download. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. If you have any questions or errors, feel free to comment and somebody will help you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to see all the new mods everyone's going to make for the Mod Jam. Good luck to you guys. As always, peace.